The crypto space is always full of new developments, and digital art is just another part of the mix. But one person's big break in this area has been a long time coming. Meet Trevor Jones, a 51-year-old Scotland-based crypto artist, and now a millionaire thanks to the NFT boom. There's a lot of buzz around NFTs, and it's not all positive. Are they just an internet fad? Aren't they terrible for the environment? Whatever the truth may be, if you're an artist, it's a good time to pour your energies into crypto art. Leave this struggling artist lifestyle behind. If you're lucky, you might prosper. And although Jones is a millionaire, he approaches his art with a passion that's nothing but admirable. If you want to know more about how NFTs work, I recently published a guide for beginners and you can check that out. In this video, I'm going to give you a roundup of how NFTs made Trevor Jones a millionaire. Before we begin, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. Jones's life might be fit for a Hollywood blockbuster, considering his initial dream was to become a rock star, but this wasn't as successful as his crypto art career turned out to be. He decided to leave his small town in Canada for an exciting international backpacking trip before landing in Edinburgh. Here, the 30-year-old hit his midlife crisis, questioning what he wanted to do with his life. His situation took a turn once he completed his art degree from Edinburgh University at age 38. It's clear that he had the markings of success even then. Immediately after graduation, he became director at a nonprofit art organization. In a sea of talented candidates, Jones stood out for his shrewd business abilities. On top of that, he's a serious hard worker, pulling out all the stops just to scrape a living. This director was also an art teacher and a landlord on the side, and all the while his artistic endeavors never slipped far from his mind. Solo art exhibitions were a regular part of Jones's life at this point, but they were seriously heavy on his pocket. All the effort that he put in for a year amounted to a measly 9,000 pounds once he paid off extra costs like the gallery's commission. This wouldn't work, and he knew it. His practical nature came in handy again, and the solution to his troubles was simple. His art had to find his own niche, and he found an answer in technology. QR codes and alternate reality were two things this artist incorporated in his works. Though NFTs and crypto art are all the rage right now, no one was doing this kind of stuff back in 2012, and that's what made this so brilliant. Picture a normal painting of a tree or a wolf, and as you move your phone over it, the wolf suddenly bursts into life. With these amazing ideas, it was only a matter of time until Jones got lucky, and he didn't have to wait long. It was opening night on his World Leaders portrait series, and one enthusiastic collector bought all 10 paintings. This was money he'd never seen the likes of before, finally allowing him to focus wholly on his work. And then he made the deep dive into crypto. Jones made some bad moves in the beginning. Cryptocurrencies were surging in value in 2017 when he tried his hand at trading. But like many others, he fell victim to the risks of crypto. Then came another major risk. Now that he was fully immersed in the crypto world, he decided to secretly set up an AR exhibit at a local art gallery. You can't say Trevor Jones never gave it his all. This time, he was much luckier. His Twitter following exploded and his art generated buzz. His unique niche finally began to make money, and he was now known as the crypto space's go-to traditional painter, he says. Still, when David Moore introduced him to the concept of NFTs, Jones was genuinely intrigued. Moore was CEO at Known Origin, a digital art marketplace where creators began making money on their pieces. This was a new phenomenon that he couldn't ignore, and he had to get on top of his game again. Then came a record-breaking digital art collaboration, ETH Girl, created by Jones and French artist Alada Money. It sold for a serious amount, 72.1 ethers, or roughly $10,000. These art pieces unlocked amazing opportunity, and the 51-year-old had finally struck gold as NFTs boomed in 2021 thanks to multi-million dollar auctions, Jones ruled over the wave. His piece Picasso's Bull broke another platform record, 
and was credited by many as the reason they got into crypto art. Plus, with the small fortunes he was earning on every work, his pockets weren't getting lighter anytime soon. The rise of NFTs has created a gold rush at this point. People are serious about paying big stacks for them, and artists are eager to pour their efforts into something that'll earn them a living. After all, this is exactly what happened to Jones. His success story is an inspiration for all the struggling artists out there, in the same situation as he once was. One collector owns two of Jones's work, and he refuses to resell them. Some say NFTs are a symbol of status. Years down the line, when the internet looks completely different, you'll still have your own prized historical artifact, and it's uniquely yours. Not one NFT is like any other. But this isn't the only reason behind their popularity. Buying and selling NFTs on a digital marketplace like Node Origin completely removes the middleman and those pesky gallery commissions that once troubled Jones. A sale immediately makes its way to the artist's account. No hassle involved. With this radical new phenomena in the crypto mix, it isn't unexpected that people are capitalizing on it. Making a fortune off digital art is a very real possibility. And if you want proof, there's only one artist you need to look at. With an impressive portfolio under his belt and millions in the bank, the Edinburgh-based artist has mastered the game. His art background, decades of experience, and sharp mind helped him predict the crypto art boom. Just not this soon, and he doesn't see things slowing down anytime soon, although the chaotic buzz will eventually die down. Moving on, you might be happy to hear how Jones is now using his expertise for an altruistic purpose. Budding artists can count on him for support, and he's been called a role model by one. Just because he's rich doesn't mean he's not a man of the people. He stays humble in his everyday life too, with shopping cheap and not buying his own car, and his dreams for the time being are comparatively small scale. He wants to move in with his wife in southern Germany. But one thing's for sure, this artist is as passionate about his work as ever. And he's got big things in store. Right now, Jones is working on another collaboration, as well as a secret AI project. As for the potential of crypto art, he's brimming with excitement for how this will revolutionize the industry. And there's no telling what the future holds. And this is what keeps him moving forward. That's a wrap on how NFTs made this 51-year-old man a millionaire. Do you think there's still room in the NFT space for more people to hit it big? Let us know in the comments below. I'm the Market Monkey, and if you found this video useful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing and turning the notifications on. This video does not constitute as financial nor trading advice, and to be frank, you'd be crazy to follow the directions of some random gorilla on the internet.